So this is a scenario where we would be using VLOOKUP with duplicate values. So what are the duplicate values here? You can see that in this table, we have Ruby Patel like three times with three different sales values. Same for summer and same for Mary. So when we use VLOOKUP, what will happen? It will always gives us the first match. Like, for example, in case I take these names and I try to find out the sales using the lookup function. So G5 is my lookup value. What is my lookup array? This one, column number two, false. What it does? It is re returning me the first match sale, this one. It's not reaching till this place. So how to get all the three sales of Ruby Patel in this table? This is the question. Okay, so now we have six rows and we want that whichever name we select from this drop down, the respective sales, all the sales, not the first one comes here for that particular customer. How to go ahead with that? So what we have to do, we have to generate some unique value for these people then only we would be able to access the respective sales. Now the question is how to generate that unique value for each customer name. So first of all, we will take their count that how many times this particular person is coming in. Like a uh, unique count for Ruby Patel would be one for one, one for Summer Mary. Here it would be two, two and two and third, third and third. So what does it mean? It means uh, this is the first time Ruby Patel came. This is the second. This is the third instance. And same for Summer and Mary. But how to generate it using a formula? We cannot write the unique count manually. So we will use count of function. So what is the range? The range is C4. colon c4 this is the range and what is the criteria c4 when i drag it i get the answer so look at this formula again and see what it is doing so what it is doing i have fixed my first cell of the range which is c4 and till c4 so what is happening it is comparing this value because this is the criteria Ruby Patel C4 with starting with this position till C4. So basically when control came here, it is comparing C4 with a range and what is a range C4 to C4. So it will compare C4 with this cell and give the count. Then the control will come here now this C4 is fixed. Why? Because the comparing starts with this cell and goes till this cell. So in the next cell, it would be C5. So it will start comparing with this, then we'll move to this. Look at this formula. Here it is comparing the C6 value starting from C4 as in this row and then with this, and then with this. So whatever value we are comparing, it is comparing this value, starting with this value till down. In this, read the formula. It is comparing the value of C8, which is summer, with the value, first with this, then with this, then with this, then with this, then with this, and taking the count and giving us the count. So this is a kind of loop. So we got the unique count. Now in here, what will we do? We will concatenate the customer name with their count. So this is the unique value we could actually generate. Right? So now how to use it here? We look up. 
what is the lookup value here also we will concatenate name of the employee comma g5 this is the lookup value i have what is the lookup range this column number third and false and i got the result so basically this is mary parker 1 Three two four one six. When I scroll it down, what happens? It's not giving me the result. Why? Same issue. I did not fix the cell. Again, so there is some issue. What is the issue? In concatenate, we need to fix up. some of the cell what to fix in this cell we want to concatenate h three only so basically we will fix this value right so first Mary had sales of three two one four six four one six. Another one had thirty thousand. Third one had thirty eight thousand. Now change Summer Hayward four three triple five forty thousand forty five thousand, and we are getting the result. And in this case, we can use if error function as well. So in case there is a function error in this function. it will return a blank value so what is happening when we scroll it down these three cells will become blank so this is how how to handle duplicate values in vlookup so the first step would be to create some unique id for these employees so that through that unique id we can access the sales in this table there is no other way so the best way is to take their count the instance it is happening and then use concatenate function and access the sales amount in this table 